what's going on i rocker here and uh well we got freaking toyo open countries everywhere one there one there four on the truck we got fucking mud we got truck parts we got junk and old garbage we got everything here i hope everyone's doing good today and uh well today's topic actually does have to do with these big old things I need to go get this mounted. I'm going to discount tire. John, you know who you are. And anyway, guys, the reason I have so many freaking open countries around here is because if you saw my uh, off, my last off-roading video at the Badlands in Indiana, well, I made a mistake. Out of all the times I went off-roading, I decided to air down big time. You see, I was with two Jeep Wranglers, and uh, well, being that it was early morning, and I was excited as hell to go off-roading, I wasn't really thinking too smartly, and uh, decided to air down with them, right with the Jeeps. So, I didn't think of the fact that the Jeeps weighed, you know, 5,000 pounds around there, around 5,000 pounds, let's say. Significantly lighter than this big old truck here. And so I aired down right with them, and I aired down to 15 PSI, just about. And, uh, well, I wish I'd uh, kind of had the GoPro on so you could see exactly how long it was, but it was literally five minutes or less into the day, right onto the first trail. Don't know how this happens. It's down. No. Shit. First time for everything, I guess. Only <laughs> As you saw in the video, I totally, totally effed up the front right tire. Uh, that one just gave first. It could have been any of them. Thank God I, I actually thank God that one went down and then I aired up so the rest of them didn't get screwed either. So uh, the point is those Jeeps wheeled all day. We're all on normal rims here, normal tires. There's no bead locks here so uh, the Jeeps wheeled all day at 15 PSI with no problems, but you know what? Those are a lot lighter. We are on 37s here. We're on some heavy ass tires and we have a heavy ass truck. So my advice to any power wagon owners out there or big uh, Ram owners or truck owners really for that matter, going hardcore off-roading and you want to air down, you can air down, but I would not advise going low, probably 22 or 23 PSI at the lowest. I, from now on, because I don't want that to happen again, that's just, you know, it cost me 360 bucks plus tax and shipping to uh, replace the tire that could have been totally avoided. That tire was fine. And unfortunately the sidewall did tear from me driving on it on the trail, not knowing it was uh, off the beat. So. It was an expensive mistake, you live and learn. Learn from me, don't make the same mistake. I know these are a unique tire combo I have here. Not everyone's running 37s. Most of you might be running a stock power wagon with the 33 inch dirt tracks. Um, but you know what, it's the same ball game. You don't wanna air down too far. So I would say stay around 30. If you're feeling risky, maybe 25, 26 PSI. You're still gonna be aired down enough to where you're gonna you're gonna bite on most obstacles, and uh, if you can't, then you know what? That's a pretty damn hard obstacle. That's what I say. So don't go down below that. If you do, you're gonna regret it, and it's gonna cost you a lot, and it's gonna cost you time on the trail too. So thank God I had a spare with me. Whenever you buy aftermarket wheels and tires, always buy five. Don't cheap out and buy four because I'd have been. I was three hours away. That's my advice for you guys. You know what? I told you I had a video coming every day this week, and I do. We got big mods coming. Uh, someone yesterday, if you look in the comments, I'm not going to say who or what, but uh, of course, like always, someone actually pretty much guessed what the next uh, mod was in that box back there. And uh, it's going to be pretty badass. There's also at least three or four more things that I have that I'm going to do videos on as well. This thing is just getting overhauled. It's already got so much done to it. And it's getting so much more done to it so i'm really excited i'm excited for you guys to see it make sure you're subscribed so you see that stuff also 
what do you think of this? These are the rims, these pro comps, right? And I love them. I love the way they look. They've done good for me. And uh, you know what, I, to be honest, I like their logo there, but I don't like really how far this protrudes out, the center cap here. And I'm missing the one back here, because it was damaged, so this is just the, uh, you know, the stock part of the spindle there for uh, Dodge. I actually think it looks pretty cool. You know, it looks more concave now. And it just looks kind of like a raw, badass look. You know, that's what this theme of this truck is. You know, I don't have a pavement queen. I don't have a Instagram nice looking truck. This is supposed to be a raw, menacing off-road truck. So I kind of like that. So what do you guys think? Should I get rid of those on all of them so it matches? Kind of like that look. Let me know down below. That being said, more videos. One tomorrow, one Sunday, because I'm going to be off-roading at River Road Rally Park in McHenry. And uh, there is just so much happening right now with this truck and this channel. So make sure and stay tuned. It's a good time. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Throw a like on there for me, please, and subscribe. Please share this and subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. I'm really trying to, we're right on, right about at 2K. And remember, I'm shooting high. I want to hit 5K and then keep growing. Obviously, that's what you want to do. So, uh, let's make that happen. All right. Take care, guys. And I will, well, I will mount that on there. Get it mounted. Because I need to. I need a spare for Sunday. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you later.